thanks for joining us. We are live at five. We are ready to get your thoughts on our story today. Remember to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our conversations here. Also, give us a like on Facebook if you want to get in on the conversation. I'm here with Caitlin Ross and Cheryl Preheim. Ladies, parents behaving badly. I wish this was so unusual, <laughs> but not. we have to show you this video of this little league uh, t-ball baseball game and this umpire is just getting berated by parents. So he turns around and says, hey, enough. This has got to stop. If you want me to be here to serve your kids, stop being so cruel. They go on to say that he's got a complex because he's too short and just all these personal attacks. And so at some point he just walks off the field and leaves and then they call him names for leaving this is where it's come to yeah that just broke my heart to see that so ridiculous and the first thing that I'm thinking about is the kids witnessing their parents behave this way and using language like that and putting someone else down so you're really creating this generational thing of traits that are not cool that your kids are going to pick up and you maybe say to other kids and they're just yeah. out there trying to have a good time right. it's ugly unfortunately this has been going on forever i used to ref soccer i mean little kids soccer when i was 14 years old and i remember leaving the field in tears because the parents were berating me and i understand you know i have a son i get emotional when it comes to his well-being and you want to see him succeed but I can't imagine putting someone else down especially someone who's just trying to help a lot of yeah. these people do this for free they do it on their weekends their spare time and they're getting screamed at by this people. umpire made fifty dollars oh for a game. yeah so you know, no, not and, and that's it. not worth it. And then look at the level of the sport. And I think it's really prevalent with the little ones. Right. Oh, yeah. And it that's is. formative years. They're learning, you know, how to talk to people and how to mm -hmm. treat people. And, and that's really and this is not what we're it. saying. Yeah. I, I posted this on my Facebook page and got so many comments from people. I want to start with Patty, who says this is just so sad. She said, I don't blame the ref for leaving. He didn't have to put up with people bullying him. I think it was a great lesson for the kids. You don't have to stay and put up with people hating on you. Bullying exists in grown-up life, too. Just walk away. I thought that was such a great mm -hmm. point. Michael here, though, says he started out rowdy, too. He, then he was asked to coach a team, and he saw what happened, how it affects the umpires, the referees, and then it under, he understood it not only affects his children, but the other kids. He really learned a lesson there. Ernest fires in saying, having umped baseball games at multiple levels, youth baseball can have some of the worst hecklers, and Ernest worked bumping seven to eight year olds. So on a bigger picture, we were curious, how do people feel about this? In the state of Georgia, 49% say youth sportsmanship is the worst. 67% say sportsmanship is getting worse. And almost 48% of men have feared for their safety in these situations. 11% were physically threatened. We're talking about extracurricular activities that are supposed to be fun yeah. and helpful. And I think what this is is an accountability problem and a priority problem. Are we putting kids in these extracurricular activities? It can be sports. It can be drama. It can be, you know, beauty pageants but are they there to win at all costs and to be mean and ugly or yeah. are they there to learn what it's like to be on a team and to maybe lose as gracefully as they can win i think losing is one of the greatest lessons you can learn exactly. how to lose and how to lose well is so important and you can't live out your dreams through your kids i yes. think a lot of these people are saying you know they feel that way because they wanted to be great at this sport or they picture themselves out there it's not your game it's for the kids and we want them to have some good examples yeah of adults behaving yeah. good in sportsmanlike conduct. All right, we want to know what you think about this. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post every weekday. Also, give us a follow on social media to get your comments in on the show. We'll be back tomorrow, same time. Have a good one.